In Michigan's Most Wanted, the search is on tonight for the person who shot a nine year old boy in the face, leaving him blind in one eye. It's time to get justice for Malik Cozy Jr. This is a phone call a parent should never have to make. My son had just got shot in his face over on Murray Hill. Saturday afternoon, April 1st, the father of Malik Cozy Jr. calls 911. The nine-year-old boy is in the car with other children. His grandmother is on her way out the door. They're about to go see a movie. That's when a man walks up and opens fire. He was sitting in my, in my grandmother's car when they shot, and there's a bullet laying right here, right in her front seat. The same bullet he got shot with. The shooter is still out there. Yeah, I'm begging from the bottom of my heart to whoever did this, please turn yourself in. Shot in the face, the young boy is permanently blind in his right eye but yet his spirits remain high. The main thing is he's worried about a McChicken and McFlurry, so <laughs> I'm, I'm just glad that he's happy and he's he has an appetite and he wants to do this and got his spirit back. He, he got his spirit back. At this time, investigators for Detroit police have very little to go on, but here's a look at the getaway car, a gray Dodge Magnum, tinted windows with possibly a broken tail light, several people in the vehicle. The intended targets for the gunman are other individuals who ran away. The shooter got out of the rear passenger side of the vehicle and uh, upon his exit he began firing at the three individuals who were running in different directions. An innocent boy who doesn't have anything to do with a neighborhood beef or any other kind of nonsense caught in the crossfire. I think there's an equal balance between the anger and outrage directed at the individuals that did this, but there's equal anger and outrage from a detective standpoint when you get little to no cooperation from the 12 or 15 people that had a front row seat to all this. This goes out to my brothers in the streets. It's not snitching when something happened to a little kid. No more violence! No more violence! On Friday, more than 100 people took it to the streets in the same neighborhood where the shooting took place, marching for peace and hope someone will speak up. If you have any information on the person, person responsible, call Crime Stoppers right away at 1-800-SPEAK-UP. There is a cash reward for information leading to an arrest. You will remain anonymous.